Hey everybody, today your auto previews a prototype of Paris L'Etoile. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well then welcome to Paris everybody. It's the early 20th century and we are real estate moguls trying to help um, develop the city into what will become one of the greats of the world. And we are going to be doing that through uh, careful investments to help build up various buildings and landmarks and all kinds of stuff. Now, I am playing with the Latal expansion today, which means the core game is just as smooth and elegant and fast playing as it ever was. But you will notice as part of setup, in addition to my three francs and my ten investment keys in a two-player game, I've also got a strategy tile, as does my wife, Jen. Everybody gets a randomly chosen starter one, that's what the little S stands for, and all the unused starter tiles and the other ones become uh, this little collection over here. And if it turns out I decide, you know what, I don't like my power, I will have the opportunity to swap it with one of the other ones. And these strategy tiles can really, really change up the game. Now, the other thing that comes in the Toile expansion are new bonus tiles. Uh, you can spot them because they've got this little arc symbol on them. And so there are a few of them scattered around. They basically just go into the uh, pile of all of them you got up and you shuffle them all up, you add them. So sometimes you'll see more or less of them. And uh, that's going to be something that affects the game as well. But anyway, we are ready to play. I am the first player. And on your turn, it's always super simple. You pick a tile from one of the three building stacks, you put it out on the board, and then you deploy one of your investment keys. And then your turn is over. But because of my starting tile, it's a little bit more complex for me because before I have to draw and take one of these, I get to eyeball them. I get to look at them. And so that'll give me a little bit more control. So Bellevue and... Um, Oh man, I know how to pronounce these French words. Uh, yellow and blue and green, Saint Germain. These are the three I can choose from. And I get to know that, well, I'm either going to deploy a very expensive level eight um, you know, building or a level two building, just a little hotel, or a level four building, which is a theater. And I get to pick one of these and the other ones go back. And I have to be careful when I'm doing this because they you know, should go back. I mean, I should just be kind of looking at them like this. So I might have mixed all that up a little bit. But heck, it was just all random as part of setup. So anyway, um, now one thing I know, if I can, I don't necessarily want to put out level 3 buildings because I can see Jen benefits from that. Her starting power is if anybody, that's what this symbol is, it shows you know, multicolor keys. So if any player um, invests in a level three building and pays the two francs to get a bonus tile, which you better believe they're gonna do, those two francs go to Jen. So Jen can make some passive income if level three buildings start appearing. And because I, can, at least on my turn, I can choose what's going to appear. I wouldn't want to put a level three out, but there's a level. Uh, but since uh, there aren't any level threes, I'm going to take this level two, and it goes to Yellowtown. Batignor. I don't know how to pronounce it. All right, so this is a. It takes the level two spot in yellow, which is over here, and that is the first half of my turn. Normally, players just pick one of these knowing only the region, the uh, district it's going to go in. But me, I had a little bit of extra knowledge. Now, for the second half of my turn, I take a uh, investment key and I invest. I can invest in any of the six districts. And I think I will invest in this district because it's one of the uh, more lucrative ones. I get six francs for investing over there. So, boom. <clears throat> six more francs for me. And I've now got my foot in the door. On my next turn, uh, after I put another tile out, well, I could, you know, invest in any of the other five districts. I can't come here again because I've already tied up at this bank. Or I could just invest in the city as a whole by putting an investment up here, although I'll make no money. Or instead of putting a new investment into the economy, I can take my existing one and actually supplement the development of this building and start to gain area control bonuses as well as other stuff. But that's for my next turn. It is now Jen's turn. And she uh, is going to pick one of these three. And um, I guess she will go on ahead with this one, not having any advanced knowledge like I did. Uh, and it's 
a level two. It's a lovely little cafe. All righty. So with that in mind, um, I think, well, now Jen's got to put a key. She could jump over here into the same district as me and get a lot of bucks. But she knows that since I'm already one step ahead of her, I'm going to be able to invest in this before she can. And then that would block her out. So she says, well, you know what? I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to invest in this region so she can get in on the ground floor of this little growing concern. And that was it for her. It is my turn again. And once again, I get to peek. And let's see, that's an eight... In Saint, that's a one. Oh, oh, that's even cooler. Okay, and uh, this is a four, uh, the four theater. Let's go on ahead and put, do I want to put this one out? Yeah, in, uh, well, no, no, no. <sighs> yeah, okay, I will. I'm going to go on ahead and put this here. And hey, it goes into the same district that Jen has already gotten a foothold in. And so now my choice is, what am I going to do? Am I going to take my existing investment, which is tied to this district? This key can't go to any other district now. I could come over here, pay two francs, and get in on the ground floor of this hotel. Or I can make another investment and get into this district, which will get me five francs. I'm loaded. Oh, by the way, oops, I forgot. Jen should have gotten five francs when she jumped in over here. Folks, that's why you always watch the Klingon subtitles. I'm sure Paulo pointed that out. But anyway, um, so I'm over here too. And now there are two uh, businesses here to invest in. So I know that if Jen takes one, I'll just take the other. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. And now it's Jen's turn. She's got to pick another tile. Uh, either to uh, you know start development in the Bellevue or Montmartre or Saint Germain, and she's got to pick one of them. What the heck? She'll go on ahead and pick uh, Montmartre, and it's a level three. Okay, so Jen is happy that showed up because she was starting to think, you know what? If level three buildings aren't really showing up very much, she might have decided to get rid of this power. But now. The way level three buildings work is you have to pay three francs to invest. And if you pay an additional two francs, you can get a bonus tile. When this happens, that two francs goes to Jen, whether she does it or anybody else does it. So uh, she's pretty happy about that. And she's hoping more level three buildings show up uh, before too long. Okay, so she put that out. And so now she could, hey, she could make an investment in this zone and get seven francs or... She doesn't have to rush, but you know, if she doesn't get in on the ground floor, then on my turn, I might get on the ground floor and beat her to this. But remember, she'd be totally happy if I went here because she'll get passive income. So rather than jumping in over here, Jen is going to be the first to uh, take her money out of the district bank she's done business with and put it into the district economy. So she can invest in this building or this building. And since she is the first to go here, she will either get some stone that she can use for later building, or one of these, oh, I forget what they're called, uh, medals. One of these prestige medals that she can use later in the game. She will, um, but this one costs one, this one costs two, so she'll just spend one franc. And now she's got some stone. And you can see this is actually a uh, uh, kept hidden throughout the game how much money and how many resources we've got. That's a this very cool little thing, but I don't need to hide from you, and I need to keep track of everything that's going on, quite frankly, because I'm just leaving that public. All right, so, so Jen spent one, and uh, she has now invested in this lovely little uh, bed and breakfast hotel type thing. And now, whenever a player invests in a level one, two, or three business in any of the districts, they can immediately grab a bonus tile. Just that if it's a level three business, then um, you have to actually pay. Whereas in level ones and twos, they're, they're free. So Jen will be the first out of the gate using her little investor token to traipse along this bonus tile uh, track to pick. She could come over here and get any metal that she wants, anytime she wants. <clears throat> She could come over here and get the ability to send a second key to a business where she's already invested, which could come in very handy for in-game um, area control. Um, but remember, there are some new tiles in this expansion as well. So she could go on ahead and jump over to that spot and snag this ability. Now, she'd be able to use it whenever she wants. And this is basically saying, as part of setup, um, there were three 
city tiles left out of the game that were thrown back in the box. And in the regular game, they will just never appear, which means not all districts could ever get completely filled up. But if Jen has this power, once in the game, she can go dig those three tiles back out, pick one, and put it into play, and get the bonus of that zone right away. So that's pretty nice. I think Jen will go on ahead and snag that. Alrighty, so she uh, invested over here. She got the bonus. And you know what? She can use this anytime she wants. She'll do it right now. What the heck? Let's go on ahead and use this thing. And here are the other three tiles that would have been left out of the game. And lovely, there's another level three building, a little bakery. So I think Jen is going to set this up so more level three opportunities appear for her in the city. Let's see. So this is for Shalot. Uh, which again, I don't know how to pronounce. Oh, and hey, look at this. This is a very hopping section of town right there. So the other ones, they go back in the box. There are other ways to potentially get these back um, before the game is over. And so that was Jen's turn. And now um, if she goes here, she can get the bonus without having to pay. She has to pay the two, but she gets it right back. If I go there, then she gets the money that I would pay to get that bonus. Thanks to her little power. Okay, so... That was that. And uh, it is my turn. And so once again, I get to take a looky-loo. And let's see, there's a level 8 uh, blue building, and a level 4 yellow building, and a level 4 uh, blue building, or you know, green and blue. And level 4 buildings are interesting because there are other special powers. I These other strategy tiles, I haven't really talked about them much yet because I've been kind of chasing after... Oh, wait, oh, is it a strategy tile? No, no, no. Is it one of the other bonus tiles? There is. A, where is it? Where is it? No, no. It's a strategy tile. This one right here says, hey, if you have this power, whenever you invest in a level four building, you get a bonus tile, which is huge. In the regular game, you only get bonus tiles in one, two, three. But with that power, you get them in four as well. And you know what? With that in mind, I think, since I can, I can see there are two fours coming up, that one and that one, what the heck? I am going to go on ahead, let's see, do, uh, I'll put this level four out, knowing full well that I would have gotten this medal, and um, hooray, uh, or no, yeah, I don't get the medal until I make the investment, what am I talking about there? Got a little ahead of myself. So now, I um, could go on ahead and invest in this building. I could go on ahead and invest in this building, or I could put another key out to make some more cash. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to put it into a region, into a district, so that I could get on the ground floor and make some money. I'm going to come here to the Arc de Triomphe. All right, which in the normal game, that's it. That's all it does. It just sits here. And even though you make no money, it's a very powerful move because this investment could jump into any district at any time, which gives you so much flexibility and uh, uh, to respond to how the city develops. But with the expansion, there's an extra thing that happens here. Every time you invest uh, in the city as a whole by going to the Ark, you can, if you want to, swap your current power out for a different one. And I think I'm going to. I know there's some level 4 buildings coming pretty soon. And so I, because I've seen them, I am going to grab this. I put one of them out. I know where the other one is. It was this one, wasn't it? Yep. And so now that I've got this power, I'll be, a, I'll be the only player who can get bonus tiles out of level 4 buildings. So, there we go. That was nice. Okay, and I, I didn't make any money, but you know, I've got a bunch of cash, so that was it. So, it is Jen's turn. And let's see, what's she going to do? She, well, she has to pick the green, the purple, or the blue district. And, you know, um, or the, the, the teal, I should say. This is the green one. What the heck? She will go on ahead and just put a purple one out. And, all right, so it is the level 8 building. So if somebody wants to come over here, they can immediately jump to the top of the investment pile and uh, get two victory points for investing in this bakery. Although, to invest in this, in addition to having to spend eight francs, you would also have to lose some lumber, which means you have to gain some lumber first, like by investing in a building if it were in this space, although that building hasn't shown up yet. So uh, that was Jen uh, putting a new building out. And hmm, this is interesting. So she can make some more cash, but you know what? So this uh, cost her one to invest in this building. What the heck? She, she doesn't have to stay invested. This investment can be mobile. She's going to upgrade her investment by jumping from here 
to here. This gives her a medal, a gold medal, that she'll be able to use later in the game when she starts to invest in landmarks. And the, normally this would have cost two, but since she's already put one franc in the district, she only has to pay one. Um, you know, if she had jumped from here to here, instead of paying three, she would have to pay two because she'd already put one. So basically, whenever you jump up within a district, you just pay the difference. So Jen is paying, um, although, 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 before Jen makes that jump, there is another power. There's actually a couple more interesting strategy tiles. There's this one that says, when you do make an investment upgrade like this, jumping from one to another, you score a victory point. And then, where it says the other one? Oh, there's this one that says, if you make an, an investment into a region where you have already invested, you get two points. So... That's interesting. Jen, I mean, in the regular game, Jen would just say, oh, this is a total no-brainer. I'm just going to pay the one franc, jump up here. This gets me another bonus tile. Hooray. But the interesting thing is he then clears this out so that I could invest over here for cheaper. Um, but knowing that there are these uh, benefits she could get if she gives up her benefit for level three buildings, maybe... Although, that's the thing. She now has some level 3 buildings out. She'd like to see some uh, payback from this. But she could go on ahead, same as me, uh, invest here at the Ark, swap this for this one, and then she knows, hey, I'm going to go boom, 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 and she will get three points off of this. And points are a lot more important than coins, definitely. I mean, coins are worth nothing. So, I mean, but they, they get you to your ultimate prosperity. So, is Jen going to make this little jump? Uh, and just get another bonus tile, which means, um, you know, she's here. She skipped these. She cannot have these bonus tiles. They are left forever behind. But she could jump forward to, say, jump over here and get four francs. Although she'd be skipping a bunch of other stuff as well. Or does she say, hey, she's going to make another investment in this region, get five more francs. And so now she has the option to have multiple investments going on. And maybe she'll go on ahead and swap out this level 3 building power for the one that actually generates some points for her. Or um, for uh, this one that generates even more points. Although you can only have one. Ooh, that is interesting. So this one would give her... Two, three, and then eventually more. This one would get, say, hey, if I jump over here, I get two points because there's already one there. So I think that's what she's doing. She's setting herself up for later. She's going to abandon her power. Which, to be fair, this one's probably a bit more interesting in games with more players because more players would hit that level three building and pay you out. All right. So, although, you know, I mean, in a two-player game, of course, it could still happen because there are simply more keys belonging to everybody. So it still works out. All right. So that was Jen's turn. And so she is really invested in the green district. And it's back to me. I'm going to get this other level four building that I knew ahead of time. And it is a theater. It goes into the blue town. Okay. And so... Now, what am I going to do? I already have enough cash. I don't think I need to get more keys on the board. And um, let's see. So I could get a bonus tile if I deploy this investment. I could get a bonus tile if I deploy this investment. And the interesting thing is I'd be blocking Jen from this because now she can't upgrade into it. Um, or because I'm here at the Ark, I could jump into any district I want. Just jump over here and be the only person in Walmart. Um, or jump over here and then, hey, Jen's got two investments in this zone. So do I, because I've jumped in there. So I've got several options. And I think I'm just going to go on ahead and jump over here and get a bonus tile myself. Because, I mean, if I want one that Jen might take, I might be uh, uh, pretty bummed. So this is going to cost me two francs which gets in Jen's way a little bit because she was planning on doing like a multi-hop step. And again, whenever you invest in a level one, two, or three, you can get a bonus tile. So now it's my turn. So if I have this, I could put a second investment in this building. Although, um, there's no particular reason to. Um, right. Now, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I, was, I should get my bonus. I forgot. I was going to have Jen take it, uh, but then I, I rewound a little bit, so I forgot. So anyway, so I get the medal for coming here. Hooray. And I get a bonus. Let's see here. 
And so this one is from the regular game. If I go on ahead and jump up and snag this, whenever I activate it, I can get two points for every level one building I'm in. And I am not in any at the moment. This would obviously be something that I'd, if I take this, I will try to wait until there's a bunch of level one buildings. And then I'll try to ensure that I'm in all of them. And then I will reveal this. So that is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to stack that. And this kind of gives me a long-term goal. I want to be on the lookout. And you know, it would be easier to be on the lookout if I could still literally look out for them. Getting all the level 1 buildings out and be, um, you know, get control of them however I can. Although, I've... Or, yeah, yeah, there are ways to actually occupy zones that other players are in and all that. But anyway, so that was that. I jumped up here. And I've got a little bonus tile that I keep behind my screen. Okay. And I still haven't used this, but I'll get there. And there's still the other level four tile I have to put out. Was it? I think it was this one. Yep. All right. So it is Jen's turn. So, uh, you know what? Hey, this is really a happening zone. Let's have Jen just put another tile over here. And it's a level five. Okay. And so, yeah, Jen... Hmm. Jen was going to swap. Oh, I've totally forgotten what she was going to do now. So much going on. It's a, such a simple little streamlined game. But, uh, what did she do? What did she do? Oh, right. Okay, yeah. This, well, I didn't actually place this here on her behalf. That was just, I was thinking out loud. And folks, again, this is why you always watch the thing on subtitles turned on. There's so much going on here, I can get a little scatterbrained. But anyway, so last time she made this investment... And she was planning on making the swap so that she could get this. So now, this turn, she's going to come over here. She gets nothing. In, but... <sighs> um, right, yeah, that's the thing. If she jumps over here now, she'll actually get a bonus for free. But she'll have missed out on her chance to get the two points. I mean, she'll still be able to. Yeah, I mean, because now that there's a level five building... Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, she's just going to take this other investment, come over here. This costs her three... But two more to get the bonus tile. So she spends five, but because of her power, the, she basically gets the bonus tile for free. And um, next turn, she'll come here to swap out to get this benefit. And then she'll take one of these investments and jump over to the five and, uh, and uh, you know, use this to get extra points. Oh, and by the way, I forgot. She didn't have to pay three for this because she... Uh, well, no, no, she did because she jumped over here. If, if she had upgraded this investment, it would have caught, it would have been a discount because of her previous... But okay, so that was that. Oi! All right. So me, I'm just going to stick with what I was originally planning on doing. There's the other level four building, which goes into uh, Lavalette. And, um, right, I want to start leveraging these level four buildings because I am the only one who can do it. So let's just go on ahead and I don't have to rush though. I could jump in with this. But let's just come over here and get three francs with the intent of investing in it. So it's a really interesting thing. Often in regular Paris, you know, if the, if there's only a level four building out, you don't particularly want to invest in that because that's skipping a lot of opportunities to get bonus tiles. But me, I can still get a bonus tile off this now. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And it's ultimately going to cost me four, but I just got three. So it's practically free. All right. So that was it for me. It's Jen's turn again. And um, let's see, she put another tile over here. So, uh, but all right. So it's Bellevue, Montmartre, or St. Germain. And what the heck? There's nothing in St. Germain yet. Let's go on ahead and put a level 8 building right there. And now Jen is going to finally... I talked about it before. Now she's really going to do it. She'll swap this out. She at least got the benefit of it once. But I think she cares more about the benefit of this. And, um, you know, trying to use that. Although... In this case, to be able to do this, to get the two points, the key can't come, it can't be an upgrade. It has to be a key that's coming from the local bank or from um, or from the arc. But so Jen's next turn is probably going to be to jump over here like this. So now she's got a clear majority in this town. She will also get some stone. Oh, by the way, I should have gotten this lumber when I uh, no, I'm sorry, Jen should have gotten this lumber. Alrighty, and um, so when Jen does this, she will get two points by jumping in on the ground floor over there. Although it will cost her the full five as opposed to doing an upgrade like this. With that in mind, should she take the upgrade? I mean, there are several opportunities. Instead of just doing the big two, 
I mean, she could jump this over to here, and then she could jump that to that. So, and uh, you know, I think she'll go with this instead. Be, and if, especially if I get out of the way, there is the opportunity to um, leverage this quite a few times and just keep on working her investments up the chart. So I think that's what she did. Especially because you can see, hey, here's another building that can go in. So this will give her more opportunities to leverage that tile. So that was it for her. And now it is me. Okay. Let's go on ahead. And um, well, now that I can see, I'm not going to do this one because I can see Jen wants more buildings here. And uh, so that's not good. So let's go on ahead and put something else in Walmart. Alrighty, there's another level one. So it'd be good to get in on the ground floor of that district, which is what I'm going to do. That's going to get me seven francs. It's the most valuable district. And on future turns, I can jump over here for one and I can jump over here for two and get more bonus tiles. Okay, in the meantime, I'm rolling in dough. And you need this cash. Right now, we're just making small investments, but as the game goes on, we start making huge investments. 10 francs, 13 francs, 16 francs. Although, again, minus whatever our previous investments were. When we start getting into, uh, you know, when there's no more buildings to invest, you've made it up to the top one and you want to keep investing, that's when you can start adding monuments to a given district and, uh, and convert these metals into points that you've gotten. All right, so that was that. It is Jen's turn. She is going to continue. And hey, there's the level four. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. I'd like to get that building because I'll get a bonus and Jen won't. But too bad for me because Jen says, you know what? I am going to jump over here. So since she already put three into this one, this would normally cost four, but it only costs one because uh, you do the difference. So Jen pays one franc. She gets another medal or her first medal, and um, because she did an upgrade in a given district, she is the first player to score a point. She is on the board. Alrighty. Although she has now cleared this up for me that if I'm willing to pay to, I could get another bonus tile. But I could also get bonus tiles over here and over here. All right. So that was Jen's turn. My turn. Uh, let's see. Bellevue, Bellevue, and Levelle. Let's go on ahead and just Bellevue it up. Sooner or later. All right, so there's another. And so here's another place. So I've got lots of options now. I am not, I mean, I've got more than enough money. It is time to start trying to get some more bonus tiles because the bonus tiles are everything. Um, so let's go on ahead and jump over here into this one, which would cost me two. Gets me some stone that I'll need later to be able to build the... Uh, monuments as I'm trying to make bigger investments. Also, if I ever just need a little bit of cash, I can sell my resources or my metals anytime I want to get some cash if I for investments that I need to do. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, I forgot. I want to get into level one buildings. Drat. So I mean, if I do this, I am skipping. What the heck? I mean, there's only one, two right now. I'll wait a little bit longer and I can always invest in this region again and then jump in the level one so that I could have multiple investments in a given region. It's fine. I'll worry about that later. So that was it. I put a new tile out. I jumped on it. Oh, and I'm going to get me a bonus tile. Let's see. I think I've got enough cash. Uh, this is another new one uh, that's part of the expansion. I could just immediately grab an end game tile. And just like at the end of the game, it's not random. I get to go digging and take whatever I want. First come, first serve, which means I could, let's see, where's the points one? I could get the two pointer, arguably the best one in here, or I could get one of the metals or the resources, or I could get some cash. Um, you know, normally these don't start being grabbed until the end of the game. And, uh, so I could grab one right now if I take that bonus tile. Or I could go a little bit further and get stone, but heck, I mean, yeah, what the heck, let's do it. Let's just go on ahead and do this. And uh, I, I'll use it right now, no reason to sit on it. And yeah, I will take, if I wanted some more cash, I'd take one of these. There's a lot of resources, I'm not worried about that. I, I might regret this later, but yeah, I'm just gonna grab the two points while I can, because it's the best. The best, All right. So I just made two points. I'm winning now, woohoo! And the rest stay here for later on at the end of the game. All right, so that was my turn. It is Jen's turn. Let's see, Lavette or Bellevue. Let's go on ahead and put another Lavalette out. And it is the uh, number two building. There we go. And so Jen is going to take this investment and jump up here. Uh, the difference is a, a three minus the one, so she has to pay two francs for that. She will pay two more francs to get another bonus tile. So that puts this down to three. 
And because she's doing another little upgrade, she just scored another point. Oops, there we go. So Jen's caught up with me. And what bonus tile is she going to take? Oh, dear. Um, oh, shoot. I think I got us mixed up. Um, I'm the red player. Jen's the blue player. Okay, so again, cling on subtitles, folks. So where is Jen going to go? She can't go back. We both skipped all of these. Although there, are, uh, the, there might be the power to be able to go backwards uh, later on. I just haven't looked very far ahead. You know what? Jen's getting low on cash. She's going to jump over here and get four francs. Who doesn't want four francs? All right. So that was that. All right. And she skipped over that stone. So that was it for her. It is my turn. And I still want those level one buildings to come out. So... I mean, we've got a lot of seeing several Bellevues. Let's go on ahead and put some more Bellevues, and hopefully I have a... Nope, that's a level 8 building. All right, so now what am I going to do? Um, I could have this investment jump over here to the level 4 building, and unlike most players, I would get another... Uh, yeah, so let's go on ahead and do that. Although, here's another thing I can do. Because Jen's getting points every time she does these little jump upgrades, I might want to jump over here paying 3 bucks, 3, three francs, to get some stone that, again, I'll need a little bit later, and to keep Jen. So I have just completely shut off her little choo-choo train to victory points. So now, um, if she, on a future turn, she could arc to trump over here and then do another upgrade to get more points out of this. But I think I did that. And um, interestingly, now, what we're doing all of this for is to um, try to have majorities because at the end of the game, we will score points based on what who has made the most investment in each of the six districts based on how valuable the districts are. Now, what hasn't happened yet, as soon as a district has four keys, and this might have it pretty soon, Jen now, because I've done that, Jen might have to jump in over here so that she can continue doing her little mini thing, which again, this is changing everything up. You wouldn't normally have four keys this quickly, but you know it might happen now because I just cut Jen off. Um, but when the fourth key is put there, whoever did it gets to pick any one of these tiles and declare what first place, second place, and third place looks like victory point wise. So if Jen put this here, you know, if Jen figures, you know what, she's going to have the majority of influence in this uh, district by the end of the game, if she does, she would score 20 points. And I would score 10 points if I came in second. But in a two player game, only if I have at least half as many uh, as influence. And what is influence? It's our investments. Jen has a total influence of seven. Four plus three, I've got five. So right now, if this were the value and the game were over, Jen would get the ten, po the uh, the 20 points and I would come in second to get the 10 because I'm close behind her. And um, of course, it won't stay that way. As soon as Jen makes this such an incredibly valuable district, you better believe a lot more keys are going to jump in here. And when we run out of buildings to invest in because we keep working on our way up, then we start building monuments. Um, you know, spending the materials we've collected over the course of the game, and when we build the monuments, converting um, metals into points if we haven't already sold them for money. And you know, because if somebody builds this, uh, this would if it would cost me. 10 minus 5 it would cost me 5, and I would need a gold, which I don't have, uh, so I'd need gold first, but then I'm here. Now, suddenly, I'm winning because I've got a total strength of 10 in this district, while Jen only has 7, and suddenly, I'd be in the lead for this. And then Jen might have to build, although, you know, if Jen just makes one little jump, well, no, no, she's still at 9, but if she gets another key over here, then she's at 9, 10, 11, 12 versus my 10, and suddenly, I've got to get another investment over here as we jockey for position, and this will be happening happening near the end of the game in multiple districts once the values of these districts have been established once enough investment has been made. Now, that's a long ways off. But you know what, folks? I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a basic idea of the overall flow of Paris. Now, if you'd like to see a game go a little bit longer so that we can actually get to the point where we're making uh, you know, landmarks, you can hit that eye up in the top right corner of the screen to go check out my original run-through of Paris, which I did a couple of years Years ago. Or uh, you can hit that I to go right to Final Thoughts for the Paris La Toile expansion. And uh, either way, or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.